The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the day like we usually do, taking a look at the German DAX and then also the FTSE. As you can see, both of those uh, are in shorter-term downtrends. The FTSE is very interesting because uh, that's the last one we put up there. You can see that's a beautiful 1-3-5 uh, pattern. And uh, we want to uh, bring that up to you today because one of the things that we talked about in the newsletter was a 135 pattern that was forming that may be a game changer. And I'll get this up here so you folks can take a quick look at it and we'll see where we are. All I have to do now is find it. And uh, where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, here it is right here. Got it right there in front of us. All right, get this up. This was what we were looking at here. Uh, I wanted to show this to you because of the fact that we've had a big move down. We're down a great deal uh, in the oil market. And Basil was just on, and I heard him mention, you know, the fact that oil's down so much, you think that the stock market would be screaming. Well, it might. But right now, as you can see here, we have, uh, we're down below the 96 level now, folks. This was a 382 retracement up there at that 104 level. And now we've broken down quite a bit more, down more than $8. Once we broke below par, once, once we went below 100 today, that was the kickoff because it came back one more time to 99.99 and uh, then it uh, uh, headed south. So this is, uh, sets up a price objective of uh, 86 uh, in the crude oil. And remember, this is in the midst of a war and all this other stuff that's going on. So there's a lot of things happening in these markets, folks, so you need to pay you know, really close attention to them because um, these things don't, uh, they wait for no one, as they say uh, in the trade. Uh, our guest today is Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts, uh, the old uh, F-18 uh, fighter pilot, the old Top Gun dudes, and he's going to be talking to us today. He's the one that alerted us, alerted us to the uh, price of Apple. He's going to break it down a little better. I wanted to bring this Apple chart up so we can see it again because we thought that was the possibility where we might be heading lower Monday and Tuesday. And of course, we were sharply lower this morning and then the market you know, rallied back. But the high so far in Apple uh, that I had seen earlier in the morning was at 147.99. And of course, the 382 is 148.33. Now, that's going to be a key level because we close above 148.33, folks. Uh, that would be a positive thing for the market, I believe, because this stock is so heavily owned by so many people that it makes it real interesting to uh, to watch it go through here as we go through. Just one second here. I've got to do a little bit of housekeeping here to make sure that I'm in here to uh, see what's going on. But Bart will be calling in uh, at the half hour, and we'll certainly look at that. Now, today is a really big day, folks, because we have a crop report. That's July crop report, how the truck crop conditions are. And, you know, we had that big move up. Folks, these markets are not acting very, very good at all, in my opinion. Uh, I want to bring this chart up here to show you uh, the chart of corn, just to show you where we are. This was just done. Uh, of course, this is the 12th. And uh, let's move this over, which will be followed by the 13th. Remember, that was a joke. Uh, if the uh, we have that big um, th thing with the synergy, zizergy, uh, with the stock market, and then also with the, uh, there's the corn. You can see we rallied all the way up to the 50% level. Folks, we're trading down. We've dropped 50 cents a bushel here in corn just over the last 12 hours. And that's in the midst of a really, really strong weather pattern to make the things go up. And they up, you know, they, they opened 30 cents higher on Sunday night, and now we're, we're 50 cents lower. That's not good action. And then we're coming into this report today. Uh, I have to believe that this low that we made down here at uh, 568 is going to hold, but you know who knows, given these markets the way they're acting. Let's take a look at several of these so we can see them. You know where we are. Here's corn. This is up to date. 
uh, up to about, oh, let me see, that report comes out in about, uh, an, ah, let me see, 9, 12, 10 o'clock, comes out in an hour, in, no, late 9, 10, comes out in 45 minutes, so right after the show is over, you can see the reaction, but there's the, the corn, We're, we went, we got all the way back down to the 61% retracement, and th this is a big report, so you got to wait till the report is out of the way, but uh, I'm looking to be a buyer, but you know, the main thing is, is we got this big day tomorrow, folks. This was one of Frank Tosher's of the Super Traders Almanac. This was one of his most favorite things with astrology. He was a really strong Baptist, and he was sort of against astrology because of the religious things. But, you know, after he looked at it a little bit and we chatted a bunch, he said, well, how? He said, this is nothing but numbers. I said, yeah, duh. That's exactly what they are. And so what he watched was these lunar cycles very, very closely, and, of course, the P-index. And then the, his favorite lunar cycle of all is when you had these uh, zizigy, uh, when the Earth was as close to the moon as it gets. This means this is a really strong magnetic pull. There are more earthquakes reported during those times than any other time. And that happens tomorrow on the 13th. And remember, uh, we had Mr. Um, Winsky on telling us that we we're going to have some big moves in the soybean or excuse me crude oil markets and uh, eight dollars in one day definitely qualifies on that one norm so he was uh, pretty much spot on on that so we should be coming into a bottom in the oil uh, sometime uh, tomorrow my guess is the price objective of the abcd move measures to 88 that's only down another eight dollars you know from where we are right now so that's what we're watching here uh, in the in the corn market. Now let's take a look. Uh, since we're talking about these grains, we're going to take a look at the wheat, and the wheat is acting the weakest of all. And remember, they hear a lot of news about the Ukraine and the breadbasket and all the wheat that uh, Mr. Putin controls. Well, who knows? But you'll see, we hit the 61% retracement. We rallied about 50 cents. We came down. Now we're heading towards the 78% level down in here. Remember, folks, this was trading at $14 a bushel not very long ago, just about three weeks ago. And so now, you know, all the news is out, and it's amazing how the news follows the trend. They give you all this stuff, and that's one of the reasons why listen to the news really screws up your your uh, your thinking because it really makes it tough because it's it's not an easy gig to begin with. And uh, that's one of the things that you got to remember that when you're doing this, you got to pay very, very close attention to what these markets are doing because the price of what they're doing is telling you what's going to be happening, folks. That's the main thing that you want to focus on. That's the whole thing of what we're looking at. We had wild swings last night in the S&P. Heck, we were, we were all the way down to 38.20 in the S&P, and we rallied up to 38.76. So it tells you, you know, these markets, you know, they jump around quite a bit. And they're going to continue to be doing that because we're in an area where people are having a hard time understanding what's going on with the jobs number and the COVID and everything else. But when you're a technician, all you got to do is look at one thing and look at that price chart and make sure that when you see it and when you see it, you know that that's telling you there are more buyers and sellers or more sellers and buyers. Bottom line, 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for the Euro. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is the euro, as you can see here, where we are. We hit par today, folks. Actually went below it just a little bit. You'll notice here, if you read this number here, it's 0 0.99965, I believe, or 95. I mean, it was just like uh, the alert went on, and it hit it one time. It had maybe one trade there. Of course, we rallied quite a few pips from that level, but look where we went to. We went right up to the 382. Now, I'm not saying that that par is a magical number or anything, but uh, there was there was nothing in the news. I mean, I looked at uh, Bloomberg. There was one little mention of the fact that it hit par. You'd think that would be something really big, but on the monthly chart, just go to the newsletter and you'll see that we have a whole bunch of numbers coming in here right around par. That doesn't mean it can't go to 99 or 97 or 98, but that's close. Now, the one that we're watching closely to that is the gold because gold should be going down with the US dollar you know rallying as strong as it is and it's been going lower now the gold with the little small rally we've had in the euro and the small sell off in the dollar index uh, the gold has d done virtually nothing so it's not quite ready yet i still think it's got a possibility to go below 1700 substantially we posted that chart of the 1665 and 6 and 1595 on those long-term weeklies that we could easily do that and silver yeah, you know it, it didn't hold a 19 dollar level at all you know it broke substantially below it so that's telling you that's still not quite ready uh on that so let's uh, remind ourselves of what we're watching here as we look at that now uh, bart will be on here in just a little bit he's going to show us his hourly chart on uh Apple, and I know you're going to love that one. That That's a really, uh, really a cool looking chart. Now, I would like to talk to you about one pattern that it looks absolutely dynamite, as they say. Mr. J.J. Walker, let's get this up here. This is the dollar yen. And folks, I think we have to pay close attention to that. This comes from our good friend Jason over there in Malaysia. Uh, you'll be able to see that we've had this beautiful pattern here. Look at this perfect one two three drive to a top pattern beautiful butterflies you can see in the the uh, color the tan colored uh, triangles that are there uh everything's active and not only that but it's broken 100 pips from the high already so that's a real interesting one here where the dollar yen has you know moved all the way down into this area 
already. Now, is this going to be a big high or is this going to be a small sell-off? We don't know that. All I know is at that point, it's a tradable pattern. How do I know it's tradable? Because when I get to that ABCD level, all I have to do is look to see what that 1.648 expansion number is, and I put my stop 100 points above, 100 points, hello operator, uh, you know, $100 above that, and then you're, you're pretty much free. So I'm, that's what I'm paying attention to. I hope that makes sense to you, but uh, that's what we're watching, and I think it's important that uh, we keep an eye on some of these things because these currencies are all interrelated, as uh, Wood, Woodward and Bernstein said, follow the money, and that's where it is. You notice that the euro dollar has been under, uh, you know, the euro's been under a great deal of pressure. And the T-bills have been going crazy. That's why the U.S. dollar is so strong, folks, because banks are clamoring for treasury bills. And the only way they can get those is to buy them with U.S. dollars. And the problem is there's not that many U.S. dollars around. You'd think there would be, but there is not because that market is absolutely immense. Now, I think we're closer to the U.S. dollar uh, making something, you know, maybe significant, you know, because we got to 108. You know, our target was 107.70, and 108 is you know pretty close to that. That's uh, you know, it's very very close. So we're watching this one uh, really really closely also. Okay, and I wanted to cover another one that uh, we've covered the uh, the corn, the wheat, the beans. Uh, I still think we've got a chance in the gold market for a significant bottom. I don't know how close it's going to be because we've been to 17, uh, 17, 26, 17, 20, 17, 10. We've got to get below 1,700, I believe, unless that number is so big that it's going to hold it. And I don't know if it's going to do that or not. But, uh, you know, there's just so many things happening. We've got the euro at par. We've got this crop report coming in. And my, my uh, strategy on that is wait till tomorrow because I feel really strongly about that uh, lunar thing that we have with Zizergy with the full moon and stuff. And, and not only that, we have Neptune moving around that Norm talked to us about, and that's what moved the crude oil. So that's what we're watching. So I hope these things are give you some idea of uh, you know what we're looking at as we go through uh, some of these uh, some of these letter. I wanted to share uh, another chart. This is uh, from our good friend Kerry Szymanski, and this happens to be a chart of the uh, Treasury bonds. And you know we had that big bottom down here, that big ABCD bottom. But what uh, Kerry's looking at is a potential head and shoulders pattern here. There's your uh, your your left shoulder. There's your right shoulder coming in right about here. Now, I don't particularly, if that right shoulder is, is lower than the left shoulder, I can't get too excited. But so far, that has held, folks. That 136, has that was basically what we're looking at is a 135 pattern. And that was your 382 retracement right up here. We talked about that. That was at 142. We dropped down six handles, you know, right to that uh, equal move that we had before. And so... Those are the ones that we're watching, and it's acting pretty good today. It's trading at uh, 140 and change, acting pretty good, only two points away from the 382. Remember, everybody told us, you know, interest rates were, you know, going to go higher and higher, and they did. But look at the rally that we've had, folks. We've had a we've had 11 handle rally in Treasury bonds and a six handle rally in the Treasury notes. So <laughs> when these markets get oversold and overbought, you know, you. Pay, cl pay close attention because there's there's great opportunities in these things and you want to take advantage of them you know the the best you can so I think that's a, a really good thing to look at now pay a close attention to the Apple today folks because if someone in the room there would tell me if Apple hit 148 I'd really like to know if Apple was going to make 148 today that would be very very important to me to know because oops, I'm not in the Tiger chat room. I got to get over to the other one, and then we'll take a look at it. Someone tell me what the high was in Apple today, if they if they could. I'd really like to know because I don't follow stocks enough to pay up. The high was 147.99. It hasn't gone above it. Mr. Z, welcome back, buddy. Good to see you in the zone, baby. Mr. Z is back in business. Okay, let's take a look here. We got Mr. Jim Bartolone coming up. Um, uh, he's always fun to be with. I wanted to bring this other chart up to you uh, also because this is the, the chart of Apple as, of, as the way it was on Friday. And I wanted to bring it to your attention because we made a slightly higher high. Hold on just a second here. 
This is the colorful one. This is the Pablo Picasso Apple chart. And you can see here we made a higher high today at 147.99. And uh, that what's remember the 382 number is 148.23. So that's an important number. Closing above that would probably give the rest of the market you know, a pretty good boost, and then we'll see what's happening. I'll tell you, if the market can't get boosted by crude oil prices dropping eight bucks a barrel today, that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a troublesome sign, uh, in my opinion. So I, I don't know if, if it makes that sense, makes that much sense to you, but it certainly does to me to see that uh, that's what's happening. Hey, we'll be right back with Jim Bartoloni with Bart's charts. We'll be right back, folks. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've got Jim Bartoleone on the line from Bart's Charts. Bart, how are you doing today, buddy? Larry, how are you? Doing great. Hey, listen, I have a question. Tell me how much you enjoyed the Maverick movie, Top Gun. How was it? Well, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to um, me in the so, Elvis picture. Uh, I love that movie. I, I, um, <laughs> I, the flying was great. Right, uh, but um, that's the story's a little bit of another. <laughs> uh, is it true that uh, Tom Tom Cruise actually flew the planes? That he he learned how to fly the the planes in that. You thing? know what's, what's what's fascinating about it, Larry, is so he is actually a pilot, um, actually a pretty accomplished pilot. That is, uh -huh. and um, what they did is they actually used the F eighteen F, 
right, which uh-huh. is the two-seat version of the uh, F-18 Hornet. And they put all these different uh, types of cameras in the back seat of the cockpit. And so it looked like the actors were flying the plane, but they were actually in the back mimicking what the pilot was doing up front. So um, they actually didn't fly it. But what, what I found out, one of my really good friends, J.J. Cummings, um, God, what a great guy. He was actually one of the lead military kind of um, you know professional subject matter experts on the whole thing. And uh-huh. we have been just giving him a ration of you know what for some of the some of the uh, some of storyline and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, I, you know, I remember seeing it. I remember seeing it in high school. And what's been fascinating for some of me and my buddies is, you know, I don't know if it necessarily pushed me into flying. It certainly had a little bit of it. I mean, it looked pretty cool. It still looks pretty cool. But yeah. to go through the experience, be able, you know, again, I, I've been very upfront with you, Larry. It, it was an honor and privilege, and I'm humbled to have attended Top Gun. Oh, by the way, nothing yeah. like the movie, but um, yeah. to kind of see it go full circle, right? And a lot of us are finishing our careers as, as naval officers. You know, I built out about 10 years ago, but um, it's just been, it's, Top Gun's been part of our journey through the military. So it's been actually pretty yeah. interesting. So, uh, wow. but I, I mean, I hope it does what it did for, um, for a lot of us, right? I mean, uh, not to turn into a negative, but, uh, you know, the military's having a really tough time with the recruiting numbers. So hopefully, you know, this will help and, and recharge some of the young men and women out there to give it a shot. Larry, it was the most fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it was just, yeah. so that's flying <laughs> scenes is what I did every day for 11 years, and that was my job. So yeah, well, that's um, good. it was great. It really was. Well, since we're since we're flying around, let's fly over to Apple on the hourly because you sent this yeah, to me you over bet, the Larry. weekend, so and I, I saw that. I said, little "Boy, bit. yeah, that's a ahead, that's sorry, a monster pack." Tell the folks what you're looking at here, uh, Bart. Yeah, I think you know not to get too uh, not to get too crazy, but what really got me interested in Apple was when I saw the all time high price, and I, I think that was 183, right? And um, yeah. so you know, one of the more basic, if you will, air quote basic aspects of some timing is square outs, right? You can square out a high, a low, you can square out a range. So, you know, I, I, I got a simple mind. I really do. And so I'm thinking to myself, all right, self, 180 days is like half of 360 and we're kind of in July. So that's halfway through the year. So what I did was I took that, you know, a high, I think it was January 4th and I just did 183 calendar days. And then 183 solar days. And, and the bottom line was that was like, you know, Friday or so. And we were coming up to this just perfect pattern, right? So that was the first thing that got me interested was we did square out the high in calendar days and solar days. And so then I went, okay, well, you can see the ABCD, right? And then you can see the measured move. You can see the 786. And I'm like, holy smokes, this is a perfect Gartley cell. And on Monday and Friday, the AB equals CD was both price and time. So then we threw that into the um, timing, right, the square out timing. And then, like, you know, you call it the 20-minute line. I was just like, well, look yeah. at that. It's, it's perfect, right? Yeah, and so, yeah. gosh, Apple is the market. So I'm like, if the market's going to go down, this pattern's going to work. If the market's not going to go down, it's not. So I listened in a little bit earlier of uh, two things you said. You know, the first one was, man, Larry, you're so right. You've taught me so much. Just looking at this chart is so much easier than trying to figure out what the earnings are and the P&E and all this stuff. And you got wars and famine. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at the chart. It makes it so much easier, doesn't it? So um, yeah. that was the first thing. And then, you know, Norm has called me a couple of times. And Norm, if you're listening, I owe you a call back. I totally forgot. So thanks for saying Norm's name because we've been talking a little bit. Um, and I really want to see the movie he's making about his uh, his uncle. Doesn't that sound fascinating? Yeah, about flying? Yeah. But anyway, yeah. um, Larry, this is the market, you know. And so I saw the little, if you can see it, there's a little ABCD, like on about a 15-minute chart that happened yesterday. And then you see that red line, that horizontal red line. That's just your basic clarity. It's like a 20-minute line, but horizontally, right? And so I was kind of like, huh, this thing's got to get yeah. through that level. And sure it did. does. And I was like, crap. <laughs> but what that doesn't it mean it can't. Do. It might still. But, uh, Jim, tell right. the, so uh, it, we have a question for one of our listeners. What yeah, do you sorry, mean about squ- It finished the ABCD today. Yeah. So worth the yeah. judgment moment, really. So yeah. this is a great pattern. And you taught it to me. I just saw it. 
<laughs> well, just A, B, C, D. I, I got it right out of yeah. Godley's book, and Mandelbrot did it. But one of our listeners is asking, explain to them what you mean by squaring solar time. Sure. So you have calendar days, which is normal, right? And then you actually have solar days, right? And so um, a solar a solar year is 365 days. So basically you divide 360 uh, by 365 and you get, I don't know, it's 1.5 or something, 1.4. And so there's just a little bit of time difference between calendar days and solar days. Uh, Mr. Google will probably give you a much better and, and longer explanation. But, um, okay. you know, I'm just looking for a pattern in a timing window, and boy, did we have it, right? So, uh, that you know, calendar days and solar days. Wow, that's that's really cool. Now, the next one we're going to bring up, hold on one second, is the yes, uh, U- U.S. dollar index. Everybody in the yeah. whole world has an interest in this one. And your chart oh. is just absolutely gorgeous. Let's get this up Thank here. Thank you, Larry. And yeah. hold up to take so, a look at you know, it here. As you, as you can see, once it comes up, you know, the, the dollar index has been really harmonic, hasn't it? I mean, look at the times. Yeah. The times down, the times up, all the same. And so what I'm doing here is a lot of people lose the big nodes, right? And those big nodes are, you know, the all-time highs and the all-time lows. And so the all-time high in the dollar index was all the way up at 164 back, what, 40 years ago, 38 years ago, whatever Mm -hmm. it is. And so the index actually blew through the 382 retracement uh, last Uh week. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. Um, And you can see I've got it there, that little point 382. So then I'm Mm -hmm. like, well, it's got to be going somewhere. So what I did is I just did basic timing. And you can see from the plaza cord in September of 85, down that's, and see that's that way first back low. here, yeah. Okay. You, yeah. You can see that first low. I said, okay, that's how much time it took, right? And so the red yeah. timing components are bearish moves. The green timing components are bullish moves. So then we start the rally up into July 2001. Well, that same pattern, look at the July 2010, look at those blue arrows. They're, it's yeah. the exact same move. Right. And so it's perfect. And so now if we look at the time it took from that all time low in the dollar index, um, it called the first move down. Right. You see that with the blue, the big blue arrow, the green time. So I'm thinking that measured move back in the past helped with time. It's got to be the same with price. So Uh, I think we just got a little bit higher in the dollar index, Larry, and we're going to be at a big, big clutch. Hey, let's there. take it. Let's happen. pay a few bills, Bart. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You got with it. Jim Barglione, folks. Bart starts. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Jim Bartolioni at Bart's Charts, and we're going to be talking about junk bonds. What are you seeing here, Jim? You bet, Larry. Um, well, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out what's going to crack, crack the market if it's going down, right? So we've got this Apple pattern, which I, I went on to, uh, you know, uh, Market Watch, and I'm like, come on, baby, hold, right? And uh, so if, if it holds, we have no idea if it will or it won't taught by you. Uh, if it holds, then it should start making the entire market go down. Well, the junk bond market, it's so important to everything. And from what I am looking at, it's been straight down, right? And, and it kind of looks like it's getting to be parabolic. And so I'm thinking to myself, and then look at that volume spike. I'm thinking to myself, if the 786 holds on the junk bond market, there might be some, you know, machinations of some selling and everything, but the market's not going to give it up. And, you know, I'm expecting a bigger wave of selling to occur. I just don't see that selling to that that selling's going to occur until that junk bond level at 89 is taken out. Mm. So, so that's what I'm showing. And then when I look at, you know, the harmony, look at these moves, Larry. They're perfect. Yeah. And so then, you know, that first move down. I did a, I did a rudimentary Elliott wave count because I'm like, okay, does it support going lower? I'm like, all right, it kind of does. You know, I remember Connie Brown. She looked me straight in the eyes. She's like, Bart, never count another wave in your life. You're horrible. That was a vote <laughs> of confidence. So anyway, yeah, uh... <laughs> um, but look at this. So when I saw that count, I was like, well, that first wave down has to have some synergy with it. It's exactly 0.382 of the bigger blue arrows going down. I'm like, you know, you can't make this stuff up, right? So, again, as we look for weakness in the markets, I'm trying to go other places, right? I'm not trying to stay on the S&P or, or the NASDAQ, you know, the VIX. Yes, yes, and yes. But this is a huge level for the junk bonds, right? And if they start breaking down, pardon my French, but the SHI something is going to hit the fan. So that's another level that I'm looking at, 89 on the junk bonds. And quite frankly, you probably should buy them and, um, at that 786, right? And so if that support holds, then I just don't see the market really going down any any harder, you know, like a big hard move. It, it, if, if these if junk bonds hold, they hold, you know. You agree with that? Oh, yeah, 100%. And I'm, uh, you know, I was involved with, you know, Drexel Burnham with Milken was there when I was there. Well, I, <laughs> I was there when he was there. And, of course, yeah. he did, you know, all the junk bonds. And I followed him. I never bought one. I never traded one. I never sold one. But I watched yeah, the market, yeah. you know, and so – that's pretty much it. Now we got one other chart. Uh, yeah, and then we'll let I you go because I, I know you're. I know you're real busy, but uh, this is one that oh, I don't good. know. I, any, I know I very little about. Larry, but certainly, this is the Baltic Just Index. Just look at folks. junk bonds and build a goat, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the <laughs> the Baltic Dry Index. Yeah, Larry. Obviously, not necessarily a great picture, but what I wanted to show everybody was. These patterns are everywhere, right? And so, 
you and I, you probably know, you've got the NBA, you're smarter than I am. Oh, yeah, you probably right. understand everything that goes into the Baltic Dry Index and how important it is for the overall global health and everything like that. Or you could look for Gartley cell patterns. And so I just wanted to show it. The Baltic Dry Index, yeah. there is a beautiful Gartley cell in the Baltic Dry Index, which obviously doesn't necessarily board well for the overall global economy as the, um, you know, mm-hmm. as uh, the Baltic Dry Index goes into new lows. But there it is, right there on the Baltic Dry Index was a perfect Gartley cell to 382. So it's incredible. And, oh, by the way, where did the index find support during the big, you know, move down at the 786? So yeah. you just, these numbers, these ratios, Larry, they're everywhere, you know, they and yeah. they work, right? Yeah. So that, that's all I'm trying to show on the Baltic yeah. Dry Index. Sure looks like it's going to yeah. plumb the new lows, which obviously ain't good. But there in the middle of the Baltic Dry Index is a currently cell pattern. I just wanted to show it. Yeah. They're everywhere. Hey, They're yeah. everywhere. Jim, so. I have a question for you, Bart. Uh, you know, yes, many sir. years ago when I first started working with you, it's 20, over 25 years now, I think we've known each other, isn't it? No, yeah, not that long. <laughs> Scott, well, how old is JJ? He's, what, 17, isn't he? JJ 17, so Larry, it's been 17 years. Holy smokes, he no, just made me feel no, really no, old. No, he wasn't. No, this was several years before that, so it's got to be close to 20, Jim. Really does. Larry, you're my mentor, so I'll say you're correct. Yeah, yeah. What was he, 04, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, let's, you know, no, you're right. It was 04. 04 is when we met, Bart. That's when it was. It was 04, so it's only been 18 years. Hey, listen, the question I had years ago, I used to tell everybody that my best students were pilots because they, they worked on X and Y coordinates, which is nothing more than yeah. a chart pattern. Is there any truth yeah. to that? I Larry, I think there. I think there is. I think um, number one, uh, we're very process oriented, right? Yeah. Um, everything is a process, and you don't want to break it, and so that helps with charting, right? And then number two is having look at all these gauges and everything like that. I think aviators should look truly at being pattern recognition people. There's a friend of mine, Goose Brawley, and um, he doesn't know it yet, right? He's a he's extremely brilliant from a fundamentalist perspective and everything. And, and I'll show him some charts. He goes, well, look at that beat on the VIX. I mean, he sees it immediately. Why? Because he probably has yeah. like 3,000 hours looking at a radar screen, right? Yeah. So there's a <laughs> lot of great things that go into being an aviator and being an investor and using charts. I will tell you my biggest fault, which basically I finally got over probably three or four years ago, which you told me it would be, is we have a, a propensity to be too precise. Right. Yeah. And so when you're going in to drop a JDAM or you're going in on a mission, you plan this to the nth degree. Okay. Right. Hours upon hours upon hours. You want to be at the right airspeed, the right altitude, the right dive angle. I think there's so much. And you bring that into trading and you can't. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So what actually helps us can also be the Achilles heel. The other thing, yeah. too, and Miss Brown, Connie talked to me about this. We are such great process oriented and we follow and we see and everything like that. But it's very hard for guys like me and, and my friends to be wrong because when we were flying, when we were wrong, we died. Right. And actually yeah. dying was something you could kind of deal with because you hit the back of the ship, you're dead. You don't have to deal with anything and you're out cruising the ethereal planes. Right. But yeah. in trading, if you have a loss, you have to deal with it. So my, you know, I, I haven't learned anything new about the patterns in probably five or eight years. But what I did was I changed my mind, right? Yeah. Um, and it, it took a little bit of time. But as you told me, you need to make the patterns yours, Bart. Well, Larry, it took about 15 years, but I guess they are mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm still working up on mine too. I'll let you know when I write and when I reach that point, Bart. <laughs> hey, listen, I know you're I know you're really swamped today, so we'll have you on again in a few weeks. But thank oh, Larry, you for anytime. I love you guys. This. I really Thanks. enjoy it. Uh, yeah. That's the Sarah and all the kids and grandkids and everything. We'll be in touch, okay. my friend. Thank all right, you for buddy. everything, Larry. You bet. See ya. Thank you, Bart. I, I yeah. want to see anything he does, folks. Just go to uh, I think at YouTube is Bart's Charts. He posts a lot of stuff. Uh, it's great information, and he's a really good student of the market. So we need to do that. We got a bills to pay here. We got another little, uh, what we call it, a another little commercial coming up here, and then we'll be back. And I wanted to talk to you just a tiny bit more about that dollar index because I think it's a it's a very very important chart to look at. I've posted several different ones over the past weeks, but the one that Bart has here is just a. Uh, it's really a cool looking chart. 877 927 6648.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we posted a chart here. It's a weather map that Rich Anderson sent us showing the problem areas that we have across the United States. The boys and girls, in about six minutes, it don't make no difference what's going to happen because they're going to have a crop report, and that's going to shake up the trees. Uh, the corn is still holding above $6. I'm not touching it until tomorrow when we get through with this lunar cycle, so I'll have some information uh, tomorrow about what happened to the report and you'll see some of the charts we'll go through those I'll send those that you belong to 24 7 I'll send those charts out in a video uh, later tonight after all that data is uh, processed and everything so we're going to be watching it uh, very very closely in here so that's pretty much it uh, what we're watching here today I've got a couple of minutes if you have any questions uh, well Al says it's impossible to get through today so there won't be any questions but do try to be here tomorrow because we haven't had Stan Harley on for well over six weeks and Stan will be our guest tomorrow at 1130 Stan Harley of the Harley stock market level letter award winner been our guest many times been very very bearish and uh, he saw this little rally coming too so he'll be on the on the horn tomorrow with us and so that'll be fun and uh, Wednesday, uh, th Thursday and Friday I don't have anyone as of yet uh, but we'll uh, try to find someone interesting if we can if not we'll always have something good to talk about but this weather, mar weather map that we're looking at here this yellow area is what's uh, critical folks that's where you have super super 
uh, less rainfall. In other words, it's just the, the rainfall through that yellow area is very, very meager. And that's right in, you see in the right-hand side there, uh, right near Indiana, Illinois, and uh, Kentucky and stuff, that, a lot of corn and beans down that way. And uh, that's why these markets had that big run-up. But now they've given a lot of it back. So, you know, not everybody believes it, which is good. That's why I look at the charts and then they let me decide what it's going to do. But we'll have information on it tomorrow. It might be in retrospect, but at least we'll learn something from it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.